While there have been many moves in this free agency that have shocked the NBA universe, there are none bigger than KD and Kyrie teaming up to play in Brooklyn. The Nets. Yes, the Nets. It highlights something very special that's going on in this generation. They march to the beat of their own drum, perfect for Brooklyn. The pedigree, the history, the rabid fan base, the garden really don't move the needle. What matters is right now. And frankly, the Knicks right now and for the last 20 years have been in complete disarray. Brooklyn, on the other hand, has built a solid culture of winning. Their player development, their coaching, their roster. Right now, Kyrie and KD already have a ring. What they didn't have is the romance with their co-stars that they so wanted. What they didn't have and don't have is the respect and adoration that they deserve. So what did they do? They decided to unite together to go to a new city, a new vibe, a new feeling. Two max guys taking less money so that their third friend can come and play alongside of them. Three friends deciding to start something from scratch, doing what they love together. Nothing better. Work-life balance, right? Entrepreneurial spirit. So, Brooklyn. Knicks fans will tell you, well, they'll either wallow in their shame or they'll tell you, we didn't want KD because his Achilles injury is too much of a risk. Why would we offer him max money? Okay, sure, that's what you were thinking two weeks ago, right? Maybe rookies like RJ have aspirations of fixing a dumpster fire like the Knicks, but seasoned veterans obviously don't. Doesn't really matter, he didn't have a choice where he went anyway, right? Easy to say now. And this shows, though, that the Knicks need to take a hard look at themselves. How did this happen? You had the most money, you had the garden, you have the most valuable franchise in the NBA, and yet you walk away with nothing except for a bunch of former Bulls players. But what you also have is one of the most dysfunctional organizations in the NBA and an owner who isn't all that well regarded either. It's putting it nicely. So what do you need to do? Follow in Brooklyn's footsteps. Completely overhaul the organization. Tell your owner to keep his fingers out of the cookie jar. Do things the right way, starting now. The good news is, if Brooklyn can do it, then the Knicks can too, right? 